Moving on, a group of senators led by Nyeri County Senator Mutahi Kagwe are tonight demanding an apology from the Kenya Airways to Bungoma Senator Moses Watangula and all passengers who had last night boarded one of their flights to Mombasa. The flight was delayed for more than an hour after Watangula was involved in a row with Kenya Airways staff at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi over his identity. Patrick Amimo has more. I was embarrassed and humiliated by our national carrier. Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula, who is also the leader of minority in the Senate, was a troubled man last night. According to Wetangula, he had arrived at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport with fellow lawmakers for a flight to Mombasa. After being cleared, he was issued the boarding pass and proceeded to board the flight destined to Moi International Airport, Mombasa. He was in the company of parliament speakers Ekwe Ethoro and Justin Muturi and a host of other parliamentary colleagues. Suddenly, Wetangula says the aircraft was grounded and everyone evacuated on what the airline staff claimed was a security threat. A very serious announcement was made that we have to disembark from the aircraft because of a security breach. And for me, it was shocking because the person in front of us, the passenger in front of me, actually verbally said could it be a bomb it later dawned on passengers that the threat was failure by most wetangula to produce his national identification card the airline staff demanded that wetangula should be ejected from the plane wetangula says he explained that he forgot to pick his id from the traveling bag which his driver and security officer had driven with to mombasa ahead of him i hold a platinum card which i showed them as an identity I showed them five credit cards from different banks. I showed them my parliamentary eliminate health cover card. They wouldn't take it. The speaker the of uh, the Senate, Ekwe Ethuro, identified, needlessly so, identified um, uh, the leader of the minority. But in spite of all that, there was just a young lady banging a fist and saying that Wetangura is not going to travel. In response, Kenya Airways Chief Operations Officer and CEO designate Moving Gunze says that according to its security program approved by the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority, all passengers must show a form of photo identification prior to boarding an aircraft either during check-in or at boarding. Gunze says the requirements are clearly posted at all the passengers accessible areas at all airports. It's about identity. Once you have been identified, and this is a local flight, anywhere in the world, a local domestic flight, even ours, until I think the last two, few months, the production of identity card was not a necessary requirement. After a three-hour standoff, all the passengers, including Senator Wetangula, were asked to board the plane again and departed for Mombasa at midnight. Wetangula reads political mischief on the part of the airline staff to humiliate leaders, especially those in the opposition. So I don't know if they are profiling leadership for embarrassment and harassment, because I understand they have done this to a few other members of parliament with uh, catchphrases like we want to teach leaders a lesson. This is a very serious, is a very serious issue. I think Kenya Airways should apologize to the leadership of parliament. While Wetangula is demanding an apology, the airline is standing its ground on the actions taken last night. Patrick Amimo, KTN.